Hi, I'm Monica Weitzel and you are watching Community Hotline. We're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. And tonight we have several interviews that I think you're going to enjoy. We're going to start off talking with the Center for the Arts Foundation about uh, the Third Thursday Studio Program that is taking place here in the Gresham area. So representing the Center for the Arts Foundation, we have Connie Otto. You are a board member or a committee member for Third Thursdays, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. And also retired from the city of Gresham. Right. And Bob McDonald, uh, past president of the Gres Gresham Chamber, retired school principal, and you are now a board member at the Center for the Arts. Correct. Okay. Well, thank you very much, both of you, for coming. Thank you for having us. The Third Thursdays event has been rather popular, hasn't it, in the Gresham mm -hmm. area? I know we had some people on last year to talk about the, the different events that you have going on. And it's, it's really fun because it's not just one genre, one you know, type of art. It's everything. Mm -hmm. um, Correct. Tell, Bob, maybe you could tell us a little bit about maybe the Center for the Arts, what, um, you know, what the mission is sure. of the organization itself. Yeah, the Center for the Arts is an organization that I joined just uh, three or four months ago in my retirement looking for something to contribute, and it was an avenue that really appealed to me. The Center for the Arts is trying to promote the arts in the Gresham community. We feel there needs to be a stronger presence of the various art genres, and we're looking to try and coordinate with different groups and, and work together. The Center for the Arts uh, in the last few years has focused on the development of the plaza downtown. Mm -hmm. right. Now that's pretty much been completed with the installation of the fountains and the city has taken that over. Okay. So I see the Center for the Arts Foundation gradually trying to redevelop its image into one of community support of various artistic groups throughout the community, uh, a central place to come together and, and be mutually supportive with one another. So you're kind of uh, the hub there. Yeah, Definitely. and on October 20 we have a meeting planned where we are inviting numerous artistic groups to come together to talk about how we can support one another mm. and how the Center for the Arts can support these individual um, groups within the community artistic mm -hmm. area. Uh, I met just last week with the Gresham um, School Superintendent and one of his assistants to see how the Center for the Arts might begin to partner with the school district and its oh, Right wow. Brain program for the development oh, yeah. of the arts. Right Brain so, Initiative? Is right, it? Yeah. exactly, mm -hmm. the Right Brain Initiative. So we're looking at changing the focus of the Center for the Arts into one of broader community support and appeal. Mm -hmm. And I think there's some exciting times ahead. There's some long-range visions to um, uh, enhance the arts in the Gresham community. And so I think some great things will come in the next few years as that's refined. Knowing some of the artists in the Gresham and greater area, mm -hmm. I think they probably welcome that, don't they? Well, we're looking forward to a collaboration instead of competition. Yes, yes, because mm -hmm. um, I know there's always been an issue about where can I show my work or, right. you know, right. how, how can I get people yeah. in this area to mm -hmm. actually support my work. And, you know, the Center for the Arts now has a, an expanding, developing website, and we're wanting to encourage all artistic groups to be able to put their events on our calendar. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Just we'll come together October 20 and say mm -hmm. what can we do to support you. Okay, we good. want to be a, a hub to support all these groups, not to take away from them, but to enhance what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Right, that sounds great. I know you're involved with the Gresham, Gresham Art Committee, Art Committee. so mm -hmm. you show, you know, it's a lot of, is it all local art or is it? Uh, mostly, mostly uh, art. maybe we'll go into Vancouver. Yeah, but uh, it's, yeah, it's mostly, mostly local, local. local. Mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, an, you know, another place that you'd be probably mm -hmm. supporting. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that, I think that'll be perfect. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that the Center for the Arts is going to be helping to support, then it's the Third Thursday exactly. Studios. Mm -hmm. And the Third Thursday Studios is um, Third Thursday, obviously, right. of every month for how, mm -hmm. how many um, 
shows are there? Well, we, we have a program September and October, and then we uh, start again in January. Okay, mm -hmm. and so then it's? January, February, March, April. Okay, good, mm -hmm. so half the year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, um, the first one is coming up? First one will be coming up September 18th. Uh, we have Jane Kirkpatrick, an author, who writes books about uh, about Oregon and the Oregon Trail and and it's uh, a fiction or non-fiction. Well, she, yes, her books are novels, fiction, but they're based on real people. She That's does a lot of research yeah. and finds someone that she thinks is very interesting, and then she embellishes and writes a story. Those are some of my mm -hmm. favorite kinds of books. Mm -hmm. I like that because you actually do learn something about the exactly. period or mm -hmm. the people of that time. Yet, yet you get a, a really compelling story. Mm -hmm. um, so, the, is she going to be talking about? writing in general or is she going to be talking about one particular book? She's you know? going to be talking about how she gets her inspiration and she's also going to be talking about her newest book. Okay, so let's see, this yes. book is called Light in the A Light in, a the, light wilderness. in the Wilderness. Okay, author, and so author of uh, A Clearing in the Wild. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one of her book. books. Mm -hmm. So um, you provided a little video for us, I think, that yes. shows a little bit about, mm -hmm. about the book. So maybe we could take a look at that video right. and then we can talk a little more. Let's look at that now. The year is 1845, and I was moving forward, taking my past with me, like a walking stick into new ways and new places. I got my freedom papers. I was no longer a slave, but I still fights the battles for respect in this white man world. A long road lies ahead with boulders I can't see, but I was a sparrow in God's eyes, and he watching after me. Though sometimes I question that. But I see season turn to season, suspicion overcome by friendship, and fear turn itself into courage. I praise for that in my future. This my chance to find light along a new path, to be light in the darkness. That, that looks good. That makes you want to read it, the book, it, doesn't it? it? Does yes. Uh -huh. yeah, so that's that's mm -hmm. exciting. Mm -hmm. it, and she's a local author. Uh, yes, she lives up uh, around Bend right now. Okay. She, she moved to Oregon in 1974 after getting her degree, her master's degree in social services. Oh. And so she was a social worker for quite a while. And actually, for uh, towards the latter part of her career, she was uh, the director of the mental health department at Deschutes County. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. a whole new, a whole new uh, mm -hmm. life ahead of her mm -hmm. now with a, as mm -hmm. an author. Cause that's a that's a little bit different. Although mm -hmm. I'm sure all that work would probably help. It gives her insight into people. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you read any of her other books? Have you? Uh, my wife and I have just read one book that she wrote on the lilac gardens that are just north of Portland here, up in uh, north of Vancouver. Oh, I've never uh, been a very interesting book. And it was it the same kind of thing? It was um, it's based you based know, on, on, on some the, real life situations there, mm -hmm. but it is a, a beautiful read. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I, and, I love to read. <laughs> yeah, and I, I think she does a great job of developing a story and weaving in some historical facts and uh, historical mm -hmm. uh, environmental yeah. things. Definitely the kind of book I want to read, so I'm going to have to check that yeah. out. So tell us a little bit about the, the setup for um, the Third Thursdays. This is in the Oregon Historical Society, is that the, where this is yes. still? The Gresham uh, Historical Gresham Society. Society. No, not yeah. in Oregon, the Gresham uh -huh. Historical yeah. Society. A beautiful right city. downtown <laughs> Gresham, mm -hmm. Main Street. Right on Main mm -hmm. Street. It is a, it's a wonderful building, mm -hmm. too. I just love it. So um, when people go in there for this event, uh, there's like light refreshments. Light refreshments mm -hmm. from six thirty to seven, okay. and the program starts at seven and goes till about eight o'clock. And there's a time for questions and answers. So it's a really kind of an intimate mm -hmm. atmosphere, mm -hmm. and people kind of have a little yeah. give and take. And Almost like sitting in your living room. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's fun. That's mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. About how many people can that uh, then you hold? Probably about forty-five. Okay. About forty-five. So any, any you standing room, it, of course, though too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, there you go. Mm -hmm. It's available. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So um, if people are interested in going to this event, do they need to um, contact uh, in advance? Um, I, we can't say ticket prices mm -hmm. on, the, on the air, but yes. we can tell mm -hmm. us where people can get the, the tickets. Yes. They can uh, call 
5646 to make their reservations. And is that the Center for the Arts? Uh, Cindy oh, Passanante, okay. our chairperson okay, oh, of Third yes. Thursday, yes. will be answering that phone call. And I think they can also check on the website. Yes. Okay. Get information mm -hmm. off Good. the Center for the Arts mm -hmm. website. Good. So this is fun, all the, um, all the different genres like you were talking mm -hmm. about that are coming up. What are some of the things that you have coming up? Do you have your schedule all for the rest sure. of the year? Uh, we have five set up already. So the one coming up now that we're just talking about is Jane Kirkpatrick, the author. October 16th, we have a sculptor coming in, Mike Surrey, who does work with stainless steel, uh, copper, bronze, he, a lot of metal sculpting. Wow. Uh, February 19th, mm -hmm. we have Will Horniak, who is an interesting storyteller. I was going to say, I, I've, I've seen him right. before. Mm -hmm. yeah, and he'll, t good. he'll talk about some of the stories, and he'll talk about how he can develop stories, how we mm. can develop stories in order to tell something. Uh, March 19, uh, Michael Charles Smith is a percussionist. Uh, mm -hmm. And he will talk about uh, the marimba. He's a marimba soloist. Will he play a little bit? Uh, I'm okay. sure he will. Yeah. Yes, he will. Composer, mm -hmm. singer, songwriter. Good. And then April 16th, we have the founders of Whitebird, which wow. is a dance company. Yes. Coming in to talk about I've dance. I've seen several Whitebird. So we have dance, we have percussion, we have storytelling, we have sculpting, and we have. An author. author. Mm -hmm. So you really don't do the same thing once in a, in a series. No, no, no we don't. Five Which totally you, different mm -hmm. artist mm -hmm. backgrounds. So people can go to one, they can go to all of them, exactly. they can go to a couple, whatever mm -hmm. kind sure. of mm -hmm. interests you. And mm -hmm. I would say that for most people, if maybe I don't have any interest in sculpting, but if I went to it, I bet I would, I would find would, something interesting. And you would learn something to learn. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And you can buy individual mm -hmm. tickets, or you can buy a package for all five, mm -hmm. which is just a little bit cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's a good thing to know. Yeah. yeah get them now before the series <laughs> starts. Um, so, you, what the time on this was when? It was from? 6.30. 6.30. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. people can go maybe go downtown, Gresham, and grab a little mm -hmm. dinner, or sure. if they want to just have a little appetizer mm -hmm. with your light yeah. refreshments mm -hmm. and go out afterwards, mm -hmm. something like that. Right. Come on over and have, have some light mm -hmm. liquid yeah. refreshment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the program. Mm -hmm. So, um, what, how do you see the Center for the Arts um, progressing with this? You have, you have this going on now. Do you think this is something you'll do year after year? Or? I think so. It's, this is the second, second year, I believe. Second, yeah. And mm -hmm. I think it's been well received. I think so, too. Uh, and uh, this layout of artists here, I think, will project into the future with some more success. The Center for the Arts has also just finished sponsoring the Music Mondays on the Plaza for mm -hmm. Uh, the last two months, we were, eight one, we were one of the sponsors. Metro East ones and we taped yes, a lot of them, and mm -hmm. uh, that's the sixth year that that's been running. Mm -hmm. So the Center for the Arts will probably continue to promote certain programs, but also work extensively on trying to develop this mutual support within our community to expand arts in the Gresham community. We need a stronger presence of arts here, mm -hmm. and uh, a if good place to display work and to perform work. Mm -hmm. Sure. So and so the Center for the Arts. Plaza obviously is a place where you know things can be performed, mm -hmm. sure. but there are other venues and there's other um, mm -hmm. ways of displaying art. Mm -hmm. So, how do you choose which projects to work on? Is that a board decision? A, basically, through the board. Okay. And yes. what about the as part of the committee for Third Thursdays? Do you, as a committee, do you make those choices on what who you have come in? We and get together and we have uh, mm -hmm. we talk and we put our minds together we'll and we'll talk about who we'd and like to, to have. And then we have um, Becky Holly, Marty Stevens, <coughs> myself, and Sydney Passanante. And we're the mm. committee. And we're the ones that go out and I bet you have a ball. <laughs> we do, we do. So they have their mm -hmm. committee and then the, the foundation board. You know, mm -hmm. I sit on, on their committee too. Mm -hmm. So there's a connection between the two groups. Good, good. I think that would be fun to be able to mm -hmm. pick Bob out just which joined us and he's odd man out. He's the man. He's the old man <laughs> in the whole group, huh? We welcome yes. him. We're glad to <laughs> have him. Good, good. Mm -hmm. but I, and I bet having, you know, different people's perspectives on what they like mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. do, you, do you duke it out to we say do. you want? We do a little bit. Uh -huh. Well, I'm, uh -huh. I'm a new guy, so I'm still kind of learning the ropes, but it's uh, mm -hmm. most interesting They haven't and, and made most you fun. arm wrestle to get your yeah. person in there, huh? But it's a good avenue for both of us, really. Mm -hmm. We like to do the volunteer in the community and it's an avenue that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you have room for more volunteers if people would like to volunteer for the Center for the Arts? Mm -hmm. um, do, you need, do you have a need for volunteers? Well, we're still looking to even mm -hmm. expand the board for the Center mm, for the okay. Arts mm -hmm. by another one or two people. And I'm sure the various programs that evolve over the next uh, few months and year will need volunteers as well. In fact, so, I spoke mm -hmm. to one uh, teacher in um, a local school here about some student uh, volunteers perhaps to oh, help us mm -hmm. in, that in would the future. Be a good, that mm -hmm. would be a good thing, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, see what happens with our connection with the school district too. Right. In fact, I suggested uh, uh, to them that the, the plaza could be a good place for student um, music performances. Right. Oh, Not absolutely. so much in the yeah. fall because school is just getting started, sure. but in the spring uh -huh. when students are well prepared and the weather is starting to get nice, 
uh, why not have a band concert? I think it would be great. Plaza right. With students. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have the, have the students yeah. come mm -hmm. and attend, have mm -hmm. the sure. students perform. Mm -hmm. It would sure. be great. Yeah. Well, and Music Mondays for a while there had afternoon concerts or lunchtime concerts, which yes. were, we did for a while. Which were yeah. very mm -hmm. fun. And, yeah. But um, yeah, mm -hmm. they seem to be the, the free concerts, especially out in the mm -hmm. plaza, are very well but attended. The attendance this year has really jumped up. Yeah, I know. And the survey results that we're getting back now from it shows quite a bit of satisfaction. And I think the water fountains help. Oh, my gosh. They well, because they have can bring children, they can play in the water and listen to the concert for an hour and a half and go home at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's totally a family atmosphere. Very mm -hmm. family yeah. oriented. And you feel safe there. And the kids, oh my gosh, it wasn't just kids in the fountain though, because no. we no. had some really yeah. tough days. <laughs> yeah, there was plenty of I think the plaza too. is going to become like the Gresham living room, the outdoor mm -hmm. living right, room, just right. like, like the pioneer, pioneer places. places. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah I agree. Comfort. I agree. Yeah. Okay, well, I appreciate you both being on, and I appreciate the time you're giving Thank back you. to your community mm -hmm. because that's important. That's something we talk a lot about on, on Community Hotline. Is that you sure. know, it takes all of us to make this a better place that's to live. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And mm -hmm. art is such an yeah. integral part of yeah. our often satisfying said, you know, lives. Right. Absolutely. You know, arts are good for business. Arts are good for a community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was told a story just the other day about a lady moving to Gresham because she said there's so much music around here. I like music in the isn't that great. And that's kind of what the city's looking yeah. to, to develop. Because I believe it? she I had so, attended yes. the Music mm -hmm. Mondays, or at least some of them, yeah. and was very impressed. So. Well, that was satisfying to hear, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> Good. Well, thanks so much. Thank and you I, for I, having I, you. If I can get there, I'll be there. And I hope Great. that you know people are watching the show will come to sure. and mm -hmm. check it out. If they can't make this one, maybe one in the future. So thanks be wonderful. very much. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. Thanks for watching this first episode of Community Hotline. We'll be right back. We're going to be talking about a tribute to Jim Pepper and the Native Arts Festival. So don't, don't leave us. We'll be right back. Thank you.